Hey, everybody. <laughs> okay, I know, I cracked myself up. It's true. All right, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna belly it a little bit. So I'm still gonna, you know, wedge my arm in here. I'm gonna support with this side. And I'm gonna be using those two fingers again, and I'm gonna gently push from the inside. Now I'm still working on a clock, it's still like four or five o'clock, okay? But I'm just gonna start at the bottom and gently push just a little bit. So see how it got a little wider at the bottom? Now, if you wanna do the opposite, like you wanna bring it in a little bit, you can do what's called collaring. So you go like, you make this kind of a shape with your fingers and your touch points are these, these and right here. And you're just gonna squeeze it just a little bit. Again, make sure everything's nice and moist. Moist is such a weird word. Okay. And you just wanna do a little bit at a time and see how I brought it in. Now, don't make this too small where you can't get the water out of the middle, right? Okay. So now I'm gonna go back to bellying it just a little bit. I wanna belly it a little bit more. But you only wanna do a little bit of bellying at a time. Okay, if you do too much all at once, then you're most likely gonna break it, okay? Now I'm gonna check my collaring again. It's starting to get a little bit sticky, so I wanna make sure my hands are nice and wet. Now I can either add water to the clay, or if it's just a little bit, then I can add water to my hands. Now I can also use a really delicate, like I'm still going my bird, like claw to kind of like do the top edge. Okay, so I could change this shape a little bit too. Like I think I've decided I'm gonna make this a cut. So I'm gonna collar it in just a little bit. Okay, now a lot of times, like mine's not too bad right now, but a lot of times you'll need to trim the lip of your thing, because if your lip's wobbly at all, that just means that you were either uneven with your opening or you were uneven with your squeezing and it just needs to get trimmed off. So we'll do that in a second. Hey, everybody. Okay, so to trim this top edge, that's where you're gonna use the needle tool. So now action is always happening at that five and four o'clock on the, on the wheel head, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna still have my elbow in really tight and I'm gonna be supporting this hand I'm basically going like pincher, but I'm using a needle tool as my pincher. Now I don't want to go needle tool like this because I'll stab myself. But if I'm like meep, 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 that would be okay. All right. So I'm going to gently support from the inside and under my lowest part, I'm going to gently and slowly start to move my needle tool through the clay. and I can pull some off. Now, if you, I don't need to take that much off, but if you need to take a bunch off, here, I'll do a bunch. Make sure it's smooth enough and wet enough. Hold on. Okay. Now I really do need to fix this. It's okay. All right, so I'm gonna go a little lower. Same thing. And then once you feel it touching your finger all the way through, you can lift up and pull off this cool little piece of view, right? So now this edge is nice and flat. So now you can just smooth it, make it look all fabulous, right? Okay, so at this point, at this point we're gonna need to clean up the bottom and finish up the sides a little bit so we can take it off the wheel head, all right? So, hey everybody, all right. So, 